Hey cuties, thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. Just wanted to bring you guys a quick video regarding Carly Russell. So there was a press conference today with updated information regarding Carly Russell and she admitted to lying about her disappearance. So according to Fox News, Carly who went missing and told a bizarre tale about seeing a toddler on the side of a freeway and being abducted lied about the whole thing. The whole thing. So we know that initially it was told that Carly had taken a bathrobe and toilet paper from her employer, who she is now fired from that uh, spa. And she also stopped at Target and got her some Cheez-Its and all that good stuff. But anyway, uh, according to the police, she returned home on July 15th. She said a man with orange hair came out of the woods uh, to check on the toddler, but picked up Russell and made her go to a nearby fence. Now, they are also saying that there was this secret tunnel in that area, and Carly knew that. Uh, I guess it was not too far from her home. So you guys know, especially as kids growing up, you find all of these hidden spots and all of that. But that is where they say that allegedly she escaped. So let's go ahead and take a look at the press conference. I will be stopping throughout to give my commentary. Good afternoon. I'm Captain Keith Suscaliba with the Hoover Police Department. We're here today to provide an update in the Carly Russell investigation. Chief Nick Durzis will read a prepared statement that will provide an update in this case. After reading the statement, we will have time for a few questions related to the case. Keep in mind, this is still an ongoing investigation, and there are some questions we simply cannot answer at this point. For that, I'll turn it over to Chief Durzis. Thank you, Captain. Yes. Good afternoon. Thanks to everyone for attending again today. I want to thank the members of our department and all of law enforcement who played a role in the investigation of this case. Last Wednesday, July 19th, we held a press conference and provided you with the facts of the Carly Russell disappearance. We told you the investigation was ongoing. We helped you determine where Carly was in the 49 hours of her disappearance. Today I've talked to and I just want to pause real quick. 40 nine hours that Carly Russell put people through all of this suspense for nothing. But let's take a look. Received a statement from Mr. Emery Anthony, attorney for Carly Russell. Mr. Anthony has scheduled a meeting for Carly to meet with investigators early this afternoon. But then I received an email stating that a statement was being provided by him on her behalf. Mr. Anthony asked that I read the statement in its entirety which I will do now. All right, they are about to read Carly's statement. My client has given me permission to make the following statement on her behalf. There was no kidnapping on Thursday, July 9th, 13th. Shaking my damn head. 13th, 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. Mm, mm, mm. My client did not leave the Hoover area when she was identified as a missing person. My client did not have any help in this incident, but this was a single act done by herself. No, she had some help because who took her to uh, allegedly the Red Roof Inn and all of that? She had to have had some help. Who picked her up? My client was not with anyone or any hotel with anyone from the time she was missing. My client apologizes for her actions to this community. Where was she then if she wasn't at the hotel? The volunteers who were searching for her, mm -mm. to the Hoover Police Department volunteers. and other agencies as well, as to her friends and family. We ask for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this matter. Carly, again, ask for your forgiveness and prayers. What a hot mess. Let's continue to listen. Mr. Anthony, 
to further discuss this case. We're currently in discussions with the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office in Bessemer about possible criminal charges related to this case. And Lord, they gonna be in Bessemer, Wanda stumping grounds. Hold on, let's continue. We will announce those charges when and if they are filed. All right, well that will take a few questions. It better not be no when and if, or well, when, but no ifs. She should be charged, period. Questions as Officer Hale said on call on you, please state your name and your affiliation. Yes, sir. She All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off right there. No need to listen to the questions and answers, but what an absolute mess. After what, uh, over a week and a half, Carly has finally told the truth and said that there was no abduction, no abduction. And we discussed in a live video, a couple lives that we had where we discussed Carly, the poor mothers that had experienced losing kids in this manner. They were abducted and they were found unalive. Those mothers participated in the search for Carly. So I know a lot of people say that she deserves grace. She deserves empathy. And yeah, I can get with that. But she also deserves to be charged for that very reason alone. She has re-traumatized victims who went through this all for her own selfish needs. And I said before, I'll say it again. This was premeditated. She planned out everything. She planned everything, but knowing that that highway had cameras, which is so excellent. I hope that all highways have some type of surveillance cameras like that, just to monitor things that goes on. Because had it not been for that camera, I think that this would have went on a little further. Now, allegedly, Carly, when she went home on her own, she showed up to her mama's door, but naked with some socks on and $107 in her sock. And yeah, if you were kidnapped, they not gonna take your money. I mean, just a mess. Like I said, it was calculated. She left that wig out there. She left the phone out there so she couldn't be traced. She called the police. She described this alleged child and all of that. Ain't nothing wrong with Carly's mind. Carly is fine, and Carly needs to face some charges. So you guys, drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about this. Let me know if you feel as I feel that her ass needs to be charged. Charge her. Give her some type of time. I wouldn't care if it's six months and then put her on probation for life, if you ask me. And I know that they can't do that, but yeah. She needs to have something to make sure that she won't do something like this again. And I'm giving her mama the sad act because according to reports, allegedly, Carly has ran away and, and has done things like this before. So when the mother got her butt up there on national TV and lied, something needs to happen with her as well. The daddy sat there and didn't say a word because he knew. So it's just a mess, but you guys drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about it. Um, that is really it for the press conference. Uh, that is courtesy of 11 Alive. But if you guys want to see the full press conference with the questions and answers, um, you can do a search on YouTube. You'll be able to find it or just the search in your search engine bar and um Plenty of things will come up as well. But drop down, guys. Let's chit chat about it. Please also make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. Chat with you guys soon. Bye.